Hi guys, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Kyra, and here on this channel, we are all about real makeup for real life and real people. video is a project pan update and this project is the hashtag 21 pans in 2021. This project is in collaboration with my girl Angela from Beauty and Life with Angela. I'll have her linked down below but she is taking a break from YouTube right now so she'll not be updating this time with me but basically the goal was to attempt to hit 21 pans in the year of 2021 pretty straightforward i also wanted to say i believe my count for pans right now stands at 17 out of 21 pans so that's pretty good and we have two months left in the project for me to attempt to get those last four pans so we're gonna start with a product that i put in all the way back in february which was the intro of the project and that is my MAC Glow Play Blush in the shade So Natural. I had the goal to hit pan on it and finally have. Of course, I always have up close pictures for you guys per your enjoyment. I did use it 32 times in order to hit pan, but it started out at 33.46 grams and the final weight was 32.58 grams. So about a gram of product is what I use before hitting pan. And I really enjoy this blush. So I'm not gonna stop enjoying this, but I did meet my goal and it's rolling out. So the next product I rolled in in April, I have a little competition going on with myself to attempt to finish one product in every category of my makeup collection this year. And this is meant to be my highlighter empty. It is the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfecto Pressed in the shade Opal. I really do love this highlighter, but I will admit I have not been using it as much the last month or two because I've been working on other highlighters, one of which you'll see in a little bit. Still a lot of product left in here. I don't think I'm gonna be able to get this finished by the end of the project, even if I use it every single day. But I am going to keep on keeping on because I just wanna see how much progress weight-wise that I'll be able to accomplish by the end of the year. This product started out weighing in at 19 grams and today weighed in at 18.27 grams. And in terms of usage, I have used it 39 times since putting it in this project. So, you know, hopefully that gives you a little picture of just how long it takes to finish up a highlighter. In May, I rolled in one of my favorite powders for my under eye, and that is the number seven Lift and Luminate Triple Action Finishing Powder in the shade Light. My goal is just to hit pan, and I have not done so yet. I've used this product so far 72 times in this project, and I have used it to set my face a handful of times, but mostly this is best for my under eye. It started out at 69.19 grams and today weighed in at 67.67 grams. So good amount of progress. Um, I'm like not trying to move this out of my collection or anything like that, but I do love this for my under eyes. And so I decided to put it into the project. It is getting a little older, but also I'm frequently tempted to pick up other powders to try on my under eye and I don't know why because this one does the trick like all the tricks so I kind of have it in this project just as a reminder to myself that I don't need to purchase another under eye setting powder I love this one also rolled in in May were a couple of single eyeshadows in my collection and I really do want to keep up with attempting to hit pan on single eyeshadows. I think I'm less likely to reach for those and hit pan on those than I am with palettes. So the first eyeshadow, both of these are from Beauty Junkies. Uh, the first one was Vanilla Freeze with the goal to hit pan. I did finally hit pan on this in September, toward the end of September. It took me 65 uses 
to hit this tiny pinprick pan in here. I mean, there's a nice dip in the center, but the pan is really tiny. It started out at 4.59 grams and the final weight was 4.20 grams. So 0.39 grams is what I used of this. And then the second shadow that I did again hit pan on is Beauty Junkies Tiki Shed. Again, little pinprick pan, but quite a bit of a dip in the center here. It took me 23 times to hit pan on this one, but 65 times to hit pan on the cream shade. So I thought that was really interesting actually. I hit pan on Tiki Shed toward the beginning of September and it started out at 4.40 grams and the final weight was 4.14 grams. So a decent amount again of product used and both of these are rolling out. And then the last product that I rolled in in May was my Tarte Park Avenue Princess Mini Bronzer here. The goal is to finish it. This is the powder bronzer that I'd like to finish this year. I've used it 54 times. I had pan on this product when I started. And I think that's just evidence of how firmly this product is pressed. And then of course I did repress it recently. It started out at 28.21 grams in the project and I'm now at 26.37 grams. Hello. And I just have this little tiny blob left in the center. I was really hoping to have it done for today, which is part of why this update is late. In June, I rolled in my mini Hourglass Ambient Lighting Blush in the shade Mood Exposure. My goal is to hit pan on this, which is actually quite difficult. This is baked product. It's on a tile and not a metal pan. So while I can see the pan, like the tile around the edges, I'm not really counting that as pan. I'm wanting to actually hit pan somewhere not along the edge. So far, I have used this 17 times in the project. I think I've probably used it more than that. I have had quite a few days lately where I forgot to either write down or mark down my makeup. It started out at 25.17 grams and today weighed in at 24.76 grams. So definitely making steady progress. I definitely think over here in this neck of the woods in this corner is where I'm gonna end up hitting pan. That is where the product is the most thin. And I just kind of wanted to work on this and kind of work Work on moving it out of my collection. I have another product that I feel like will sort of fill this gap once this one is gone. So this might be something that I work on finishing in 2022, but for now it's staying in. Also in June, I rolled in my ColourPop Super Shock Highlighter in the shade Lunch Money with the goal to hit pan. I did use this product 18 times before hitting pan. I did hit pan at the end of September and it looks like this. No, it's not a gigantic pan, but I didn't dig in it either. It has a nice big crater here in the middle, so that's really great. I'm glad to have hit pan on this. These things do not last forever. I started out at 22.26 grams, and the final weight was 22 grams, so 0.26 grams is what I used up of this product. The next product I rolled in at the third update, which is in July, we've been updating every other month, but still rolling things in as needed in between. So in July at the third update, I rolled in my Charlotte Tilbury Film Star Bronze and Glow. I'm very excited to start using this more, but I am bound and determined to finish the Tarte Bronzer. So far, I have used this product 19 times in the project. My goal is to hit pan on the bronze side of this. And in September, it weighed in at 106.52 grams. Today, it weighed in at 106.12 grams. So 0 0.40 grams is the amount of product I've used in here. I will say you can see that there's like a definite dip forming toward the 
you know, the part of the bronzer that's closest to the mirror. So I suspect that's where I'll end up hitting pan. I don't know how close I am to hitting pan on this, but I'm keen to find out. I've always wanted to work on panning this because it's such a favorite product for me that I really want to get my money's worth. I want to enjoy it and things like that. So this one will be staying in for at least another month. Uh, if you're new here, I've kind of been on and off working on my C Color Savannah palette. I did roll this into the project with the goal of hitting at least one pan in this palette, and I have done so. Is it a big feat to hit pan on a peachy shade like this for my skin tone? No. Am I glad to have the pan in the palette? Yes. It took me 36 uses to hit pan on this peachy shade. The palette started out at 126.63 grams and it now weighs in at 125.84 grams. So not quite a full gram, but that's pretty crazy considering it's just this one shade. I am still working on the green shade and this mustardy yellow shade down here with the hopes and intentions of hitting pan on those before the end of the year, but we shall see. I'm really enjoying pairing this with other palettes, either other palettes that I'm panning, or for this month in November, I'm using this as the only palette to pair with my one month one palette, which if you missed it, is the ABH and Jackie Ina palette. So I love this palette. It is meant to be a dupe for the Natasha Denona Safari palette, and I think it's a great palette. It's uber cheap, like $8 or something like that, and it has just a beautiful array of mattes in here, and I'm continuing to enjoy working on it, so I'm keeping it in, even though I met my goal of hitting one pan in the palette. Next, I am working on two shades in the ColourPop off Melrose palette. Um, you will see that they are missing from here because I find it easier to just have all of the shades that I'm panning in this little magnetic palette. So those are the two here. We have Easy Breezy, a beautiful rosy terracotta shade, as well as Angelino, which is a beautiful light gold. I'm not making great progress on these, if I'm being honest, and part of that is the one month, one palette project. I think I have a better chance on hitting pan on Angelino, just because it's a shimmer. It's not quite as firmly pressed as the ColourPop mattes can be. Next year, I will do a better job at keeping track of the individual uses on the individual shades. So far, I have used them collectively 16 times in this project, but I don't think I'm gonna end up hitting pan on Easy Breezy by the end of the year, but I'm gonna keep on keeping on. Yeah, this is the one I don't understand because I always put these back into the packaging to weigh them because I weighed the palette at the beginning, but somehow I'm gaining product. <laughs> I don't know what happened, but Regardless, I it weighed in this month at 121.94 grams. So who knows, but I'm still working on them and you know, that's okay with me. And in August, I rolled in my ABH Norvina palette, again, with the goal to hit pan and at least one shade in the palette and then go from there. I do think next year I am going to do a massive eyeshadow project pan, so stay tuned for that. But I managed to hit three pans in this puppy in the last couple of months. In fact, I hit all three of them like within a week of each other. I didn't take a week only to hit pan in them, but I worked on this since August and I ended up hitting all three pans within about a week. So the pans that I have are the pans that I intended to have. I have first hit pan on the shade base down here, sort of accidentally. It's just a beautiful inner corner highlight for me or brow bone highlight. It's a very satiny, not super shimmery shade. So it really wasn't hard to hit pan. And then secondly, I wanted to hit pan in Dazzling. This is just one of my favorite shades in the palette, somewhere between a taupe and a rose gold. And I just love that. So that was not at all hard. And then finally, I figured I may as well go for the gold and hit three, and so I did hit pan on Dreamer. I don't think 
that I in any way shape or form kept a correct tally on how many times I used this palette because according to my bujo here I only used this palette 13 times and there's no way that that's true but it did originally weigh in at 190.88 grams and it now weighs in at 190.24 grams so pretty decent amount of product was used from this palette I definitely used other shades in the palette but I am going to put this one away for now in an effort to use something else so we will wrap this project up sometime in December at the end of the year I'm really hoping to hit those last four pans. For sure, I think I can hit pan on the number seven powder. Other than that, I don't know <laughs> if I'm being honest. But regardless, 17 pans in this project. I also participated in Partners in Cream and I did hit a few pans in that one as well. But in this project, having hit 17 pans in my collection this year, 17 new pans, I am thrilled. I don't, I don't think I could be anything but thrilled. So I am going to keep on keeping on with these products until the end of the year. We'll see what kind of damage I can do. And I hope you guys enjoyed this update. I look forward to all of my Project Pan updates, just showing you guys what's going on here in my beauty room, what I've been using a ton and all of that. So let me know down below, are you wrapping up your projects for the year? How close are you? How many pans did you hit this year? I just love hearing all of that stuff. So update us down below. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today. I appreciate it. And if you did find this video entertaining or helpful in any way, I hope you'll give it a thumbs up and subscribe before you leave so we can see each other in my next video. With all of that said, I hope all of your makeup days are absolutely beautiful makeup days. I look very tired today. Do I? Who knows?